Hey everyone, Miyasity here, welcome back. So today on Darkest Dungeon, I thought I'd go into the Sunward Isles again. I know I said the last time I'd probably go into the Crimson Courtyard Plus, kind of explore that a little bit. However, I kind of really wanted to test something with Namiri here. So her whole thing is that she gets stronger the more types of currency she has. And right now, I think the best case scenario is in the Sunward Isles for that, actually. There's a lot of things I'm unsure about, and I, I'm sure I could look it up, but it's more fun for me to test it. So I'm not sure gems count as a currency type for her, and I'm not sure the Sunward Isles things count as a currency type for her, because there's a lot of monetary things that count as currency in there. But if all three of those count as currency types, she could get absurdly strong, and that could be fun. That could be really, really fun. So I kind of built a group to go in there around that. And the other thing I really am unsure about is if she ups the amount of currency I get. Could not find anything about that. Didn't look too far into it though. So I'll be testing that a little bit too. I know I have the ante in here as a just in case, but I'm, I'm gonna test Namiri in here too. I, I do actually have to do trinkets, so one second. Uh, we have Musashi who is going to be our second big damage healer here, actually, because he's going to start with 60 min banishment plus damage versus yokai. He's going to be basically doing the things he's been doing before. After that, he's going to go into petals in the wind because he's going to be in rank two, can't use 60 min banishment. That's going to put a mark a target, first of all, give him plus dodge plus crit and put him in rank four, which then he can do shadow crossing heaven, which does extra crit damage and armor piercing versus marked and will heal him if he destroys the target. If I don't want to do that or a he uh, enemy is below 50% health, he can just do flowing water cut and ink something a little bit faster. Namiri has a bunch of stuff that is based on currency in inventory. So, I mean, plus damage, plus damage versus stun, extra chance to stun, extra chance to move, extra damage versus marked, extra accuracy, currency in inventory, and extra repost duration. So we'll see how this all works. I'm going to give her extra crit and extra crit and accuracy just to see how that works. Book of intuition here and uh, I suppose a debuff chance. And then I suppose plus speed on the milkmaid just because she's our healer. It's pretty much all she can do, but she is a very, very good healer. So her one attack, if I need it, is Celestial Javelin. It can only hit the back two rows, but it has a Blight on it. Otherwise, Comps Kindness has a small heal with a Restoration on it that heals for more on the target's next action. So that can be a little bit more of a game changer because instead of healing for seven, it heals me for up to three. And then say I get hit again, bring me down to Death's Door again. It can then bring me back up to Death's Door. She then has an AoE heal that has protection for the front two people while she's in the back row and she has a free action that can clear stun and marked now it doesn't do much of a healing but it's a free action heal that does a little bit and does the pre-mentioned stuff anywho we're gonna be going into the sunward isles like i said it's a medium so i was a little leery about it but between the anti upping the dodge and having a backup heal and the milkmaid having a very good heal i thought it was okay and then I'm not sure how much Namiri is going to be doing for damage and Musashi for damage, but we should be good. Let's do this. So I am bringing a little bit of extra food. I'm going to bring a few shovels. I am bringing keys just in case we run into some lockboxes. We're going to bring a bunch of bandages. I am bringing Ladonum just because there's a few interactions there. Bring the minor Omomoris and a bunch of oh do i have something i can sell i'm not too worried about protection on the salamander that'll help out bring six just in case uh fog walls and stuff like that i think we're good otherwise i know that's a lot i know i'm bur burning most of my uh money we're good all right so explore 90% of rooms. Let's go to the left first. That way I don't have to come back this way at all. Fog wall. That's why we brought torches. Extra torches kind of save the day. I know I could like throw a torch in here for stress relief, I believe it is. Or extra stress received or, or uh, like stress given. 
something like that or stress helping, but I'm not going to go there. I suppose this would be the best way to test it, because if I get something other than the major Omamori, we know she gives currency. Or I know she gives currency, at least. And if I don't, I can just pick up everything with the ante after this. She does not. Okay. Unless that was a one-off where it didn't, but I'm just going to trust my gut there, then. Because I think the ante gave me, like, one every single time I did it. That goes there because I want to save it. That's an emergency use. They're great for bosses. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three currency types, hopefully, right now. Journal page. Blood silk pages torn from our journal, five of six. The others are gone. They were victims of a malevolent transformation. Their scales had rotted to soft, vulnerable flesh, slowly suffocating without gills. The worst was their eyes, close set and forced to squint through fleshy slits. I shudder recalling the horrific and unclean warmth of their blood as I rinsed their as I rinsed my talons. I nearly wretched, may death grant them soft mercy. Yikes. Wait, he had talons. Oh, that might have been Quill. Or not Quill, hush. Alright. Let's light the Shoguru. That's just her saying she can't get any other diseases, which is nice. Six demon banishment. Go away, Kappa. And then we're going to Festering Vapors. If I get the blade off, it goes away. Oh, I was hoping. Oh, it still goes because we upped the thing, but then it gets healed. Darn. <laughs> Alright, uh, what does Namiri get? So right now, let's see. This is supposed to be a two-turn repost. It is now a four-turn repost. The Onyx and the Anti work. I think they work. Uh, let's get rid of the Kappa, so he can't heal. He goes on his turn. He can't pull in water cuts. So we're going to Petals in the Wind. The Shoguru. Going to get rid of the Mark. And we're going to Comet's Kindness to heal. And what's the stun chance here? Oh, you can't do that. So, just do some damage. And a miss. Lovely. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Yuri Timber. All right. I was hoping Musashi would go, but that's fine. She can do that from any row. That's nice. I'm just going to do this as a pop-off heal. This fight it ain't going to last long. And then Shogru gone. Back to the pit. Then upper dodge. Uh, can I do anything with the dwarf? I can. It's not much. It's something. Otherwise, I can move forward by one. This is why I was thinking of getting... Uh, Dwarf Toss, but this works. Um, it's Guidance. Battles in the wind. You can move back. And music. It's done then. All right. So we're gonna do this, the and then she's gonna move back. That way, Namiri is where I need her to be. I'm gonna try to light, even though I know it's not gonna go off. 
and then bam and bam I guess it's not the worst combo considering I don't have much for currency yet the wounds of war can be healed but never and now I can do flowing water cut and take them out <laughs> I didn't need to do six demon banishment Take what I can. Seize this momentum. I'm gonna take that antique. I'm gonna take the antique. I just need to uh, rearrange. I really shouldn't get rid of the torch. But I want... I actually want at least one stack of gold here. What I can do for now is this. And then later I'll get a stack of gold. I don't think it's the biggest deal. Oh, I should have taken that with the antique. could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I always forget about that. Or at least I can do it with him now. Her now. Torch up. Now I have the spot. Cruel of course, it always happens. To life. <laughs> when I'm trying to do something in my inventory and walk, I'll hit a trap. Now, who is good with traps here? Anti. Yeah. Hit that on the way back, because I think I can upgrade a uh, Omomori. There's a secret room right there. Okay, taking this. Taking the gold. Really don't want to take this citrine, but it would be funny just for like the stacking the money thing. Uh, Journal of Darius, Highwayman, four of seven, day seven. We tangled with some unfrau. We tangled with some unruly louts. Raven called them cultists. They were ferocious, clumsy. Ah, uh, you know, as much as I want to take it, I'm gonna toss it later anyway. So I know I can get rid of like the medicinal herb. There's some food right now, but it's gonna be handy to. Hang on to them for a little bit. So we'll just see where this goes. Ah, oh, you got that going for you, do you? Okay, we'll see, we'll see. Um, so I can Celestial Javelin this Shoguru. I think that's what I'll do. Just pop that off of the minor heal that it is, because I get three of them every uh, battle, so that's like three health I can heal every fight. And then, because I can't hit him, and the flowing water cut's not going to do much, we're just six demon banishment. Take him out. Up our dodge, because these guys can be nasty, the Odoroshis. Uh, do I want to do keep him busy or do I want to do chin music? Chin music doesn't do much damage damage, right? But it could stun. Well, if I do keep him busy, I'll at least get that. She's marked. We'll go at her. We might take him out faster. Okay. I probably should have done Glimmering Butterfly again. Of course, they don't go for the marked one. Okay, Blighted for 4 has 4 health, he's going down. We'll do Petals in the Wind. And then, just to avoid the retaliation, the repost. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. And then, since this one is going down on the next turn, since it's marked, heal you. Comments kindness, get the restoration going. If I can hit you for four, you're down. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Ominous cry. Don't worry, he'll join your friend. And then he heals himself because he took someone out. Lovely. Taking what I can. A trifling victory. There's a jade. 
Which is more money. I told you this could get insane with her. Um, it's just the whole supply situation now. I do want to take the Omamoris back. I know there's like a quirk or something that I could get with Ladonum. I especially want to get that on Musashi. Do I really need to care about the bandages though if I have her on board? I'd better not get rid of them. Uh, but what I could do, accuracy for 10 rounds. Yeah, let, let's just get rid of the medicinal herbs for now. Grab this. She does more damage now. I can't even take that bandage because I have six right now. <laughs> All right, going back in here. I'm gonna leave that around my way back. Who knows, I might uh, get more supplies that way. All right. The abyss returns even the boldest gaze. So up dodge. Six demon banishment. Annihilate. He gone. He is erased. I want to get the Shogaru. I'm only gonna do four to eight though, really. That 5% damage is not adding up, is it? One, two, three, four. Is that all there is? One, two, three, four, five. So I should have 25% extra damage. Technically. And I know she does more against stunned, but I'm not stunning anyone with this group. So I guess it's because he has 40% protection. That's why she does 6 to 11 to him. Now let's do keep him busy. And oh, I can't blight. I can try to blight. It'd be a 10% chance. Better than nothing and does do damage to the Yurie. Exposed to a killing blow. Ah, she's stunned now. Okay. So, clear stun. Oh, 80% chance. I'm like, why didn't it go off? My luck is horrible, that's why. Thankfully, this is still for four rounds, so. Oh, uh, do, 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 do. If I hit high enough, he goes away on his next turn. Then pedals in the wind the Shogaru, because then we can bypass the protection. Then we just have to worry about the Wandering Yurie. Heal. And we're gonna comment's kindness. Ooh. The Shogaru goes down. Festering fear consumes the mind. Yeah, let's damage her. Another one! Shadow crossing heaven. Alright, and then... I'm gonna take her out with chin music. That would be funnier. Damn accuracy. As the fiend falls. Uppercut. Go! Blossoms. Yeah, this, this is why you came. I wanted this. <laughs> Just getting rid of all the supplies to fit all different things. And like, this isn't even worth the jade. It's hardly worth the citrine. <laughs> Uh, here's the thing. I only need one if I remember right. So, Ladonum there. I might not even be remembering right at that. I can camp once I get to the room battle with the Kirio. That'll make me some space. I should hang on to the shovels and the torches. That's a no brainer. Omamori are gonna get me more of the antiques. As much as I want the stuff, I probably shouldn't get rid of this because food checks. There are very specific curios I wanted to hang on to for the keys. I haven't run into them yet, but they are a thing. So the one thing I can think of is trading the portraits out for the crest because I know I'll be using more of them. I know I'm gonna need the 
portraits to upgrade the what is it the guild shoot it's one of those things where it's like i want everything but that's not how this is going to work and that's not how the test run for namiri like absolutely breaking her is going to work screw it i think i can get by without the bandages Bakekujura. Right, so I can blight him on the plus side, and so I'm gonna do that right off the bat. I am gonna have to take care of the Kappa first, otherwise, um, that's gonna get ugly fast with him healing and restoring the Bakekujura. And he, the Bakekujura can uh, put a guard on him. If I recall correctly. Come on. That crit is not going to happen, so let's keep him busy. <laughs> yeah, Undead Behemoth, he's going to guard and restoration. Not much, but it's something. So... Let's blight again. That'll get rid of the block. That puts on a blight. So he's taking four rounds. That's overtaking the healed, at least. We're going to up our dodge again because Bake Kujra can a time to perform do a lot. That's for sure. Now if I can AoE, that would be great. Oh, wait. Bypass guard. Not much. It'll work for now. Uh, do, 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 do. Easy money. That does more, but I know he had the Aegis. Alright, let's get this party started. More Blight. Bypass that, you're at half health, so I do a lot more damage. Destroy. And you're gone. Extra crit rate, go. Baki Kujra left. Okay. I don't want to take a hit from him. Up dodge. We have four rounds of... Three rounds of repost left. So just go at him. Yeah. Well, that's kind of what I expected. Up dodge. A brilliant confluence of skill. Pedals and wind. Not gonna be. Oh, I can blight. Uh, yeah, we'll celestial javelin again. And can't lucky crossbow strike, which would do a lot right now. Probably not stunning him, even though I uh, might have a stun chance. I wish it would tell me how much of a stun chance I had. But whatever. The buff is minus crit, that's fine. The birthplace. Keep lighting. Take him down. Up dodge. Keep it going. And Shadow Crossing Heaven. She'll do 12 damage on max head, but 80% chance to crit. So, A powerful blow. Four more damage, he goes down. Which I'm assuming Namiri can do. Uh, uh. Crossbow actually does less, but has a higher crit chance. So, we'll go with that. Death. Unforeseen. All right. So, Slippery Boots... Minus crits received. Let's go on Musashi there. Got the antique. We got the gold. I said I was going to camp, so we're going to camp. We're going to take the bust. Circle in we're the going dark. to feast for the stress, the and we're going to shovel the last food onto Rosemary. Okay. So what I want to do here, I can drink under the table for stress. And then it wouldn't really matter if her accuracy went down as long as the stress was okay. I think that's 
going to be one of the better bets, and then I can do Harden Resolve, and that would leave me with sticks. And then I can do, like, some Encourages and stuff like that. And then... Ooh, we can also do hum Harden Resolve. So, minus... 15% stress and heal her, but let's do Humble Apology. That way everyone gets minus stress. Harden Resolve. Then... Encourage. And I have two left, so we're going to Encourage again and we're fine on stress. The match is... Then... A blazing order. star is born. Grab you, Josephine, Omomori, please. Glittering that antique and the major. And baubles, paid for in blood. Grab this. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. I think this was also something I could loot. No, it's one of these. So, I mean, Major Omomori again. The more of these I walk away with, the happier I am, and I get a very antique. So that's worth way more than a stack of gold. Actually, a stack of gold with anti in it, but still nonetheless. Hunger check, they can eat. And a uh, husk body, not affected by food, does not eat. <laughs> Keep forgetting about that, to be honest. It's not a trap, but I can't really interact with it now, can I? Okay, fight. I think I want the lesser Oni down first. The horror. I wanted to dodge. Wait a minute, depending upon who goes first. Man, they were all faster than me. Okay, don't need to clear it. Six demon banishment. I mean, he wasn't really executed, but it, it works. Uh, we'll just do this. That way I get this tiny heal. I'm gonna Celestial Javelin, the little bugger. I blight him, he goes down. Then Namiri. Keep him busy, get the Yurie. So I don't want the stress. Potential of just walking into the next thing with all these people is great. Take a little bit of damage for that. Then, blight one of the Hikis. Nope, okay. Shadow Crossing Heaven will go out the Yurie. And then the others can take out the crabs. Like so. Bonk. The death by inches. That's not a horrible stress. Their one crab down. Broken. Maintain the offensive. Shadow crossing heaven. Yuria down. Can't exactly hit the Hiki crab, so heal. Stun the. Oh, I can't stun the bugger. I was gonna say stun it so it doesn't do anything more to us, but that's eh, not gonna work. Press this advantage. And cutting Give or flowing no water cut. That way, uh, just bypass everything. Got another rare antique. Horrors. Not complaining Horror. about that. Driven On top of, the you know, gems and stuff. I'm making out like a bandit here between everything. Okay, isonate. Still want the Oni first, but dodge first. Okay. Kind of 
surprised I haven't got like a Mon bundle or something. Which is another currency. Weight of an ogre. Ooh. At least I'm probably going to be able to get rid of the stun before anything happens. And here's the repost. Have fun, Shirky. Okay. Oh, really? The one time Musashi goes first, he's stunned. Alright, uh, blade the castle, Baki. It'll go down shortly. And now you can go away. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay, uh, that's that's a little bad. We're gonna up the dodge just because Isonate does hurt and can, you know, do a few bad things. Pedals in the wind. Set myself up a little bit here. And Comet's Kindness. That way we're healing. Got the restoration on. Can't stun the Isonate, but we can damage it. Uh, so Obake goes on its turn. See, if this pulls me, I'm gonna be pissed, but no, that one can't pull. Hit him with the Kukri, then Shadow Crossing Heaven. Impressive. Got seven health, I should be able to take it out, I think, between everything I can hit it with. So that's seven to 13. This is six to 11. The higher crit rate and accuracy. And I uh, will go with lower accuracy, higher damage. Perhaps the turning point. Mon bundle. As soon as I said something. And now I do need the key for that. So let's see here. How much is there left? Secret room and then all the rooms. So let's get rid of the busts. It is a money run after all. The key. Take what I can. I do need the boss. That is uh, non-negotiable. I also do need the torches here. So the thing to get rid of would probably be one of the Omomori, which I really don't want to get rid of because they're really nice for bosses. The two bosses I'm thinking of in particular, I want multiples of, so the faster I stock up on them, the better. So I know I said I was hoping to have a Ladonum or something, but screw it. I can do it another time. Or maybe I just don't get it on him. Watch, I'm gonna find this like right away now. Ah, uh, you can do this. Get stressed down. And we have a trap version of it. They look so alike. Uh, 60, yeah, you can try that. That's a no, and then you get bleeding, lovely. Do have a key for this? Do I get... I do not get the head. However, that being said... A lot of money in here. That's for sure. So her ability is for each type. So if I get rid of these, something's... I'm, I'm gonna lose damage, but I do believe that these are... Uh, I think to add to that. I am gonna take all of them, by the way. I'm just curious if, like, I should be... Getting rid of the shovel too. The light, the promise of safety. So I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna test this. Screw it. So I, I'm keeping the Omamori. I was tempted to throw away like one, but I, I don't think that's. And now that I got rid of the key, I found this and the torch, and I found a shambler. This is what a key would have been really good for. Did get a health stone out of it. Not going to complain too much then. Uh, not going to take the busts. And unfortunate about the shambler. I think the most this is going to do now is just is distinguish the torch or something. Unless I find one. Which is a possibility. A possibility. 
Do I scout? Is there anything down here? Yeah, and I'm not gonna dig through that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna walk away with this. Like, it's unfortunate about the Shambler. Um, really would have liked to fight it. Could have gotten, like, the portrait or something, which was massively upgraded how fast I leveled people up. I got greedy. <laughs> and it's gonna pay off. Look. So I already got the 4,000. I already got the glass eye. But I'm walking away with 25,000. So almost 30,000 gold. <laughs> I was hoping to get in another fight just to see like how much damage she would do after that. So like the 5% damage didn't make too much of a difference in rank 0. But I can easily see how that adds up now. And like the other part I was curious about is how much of a repost duration she got because it was a 2 turn repost. But the fact that it turned into a 4 turn repost already and if I can level that up so it does longer durations or something, that's awesome. We got gifted plus healing received. Zoophobia on Josephine, so stress versus beast. The Executioner, accuracy and crit versus HP below 50, so kind of worthless and not anti, but whatever. Rosemary got weak grip, which I don't really care about because she's hardly ever in melee. But minus crit on melee doesn't affect her too much. Tranquil Mind is plus accuracy though, so for her one move that I do regularly use, it's plus accuracy and she also has minus stress. And her disease doesn't really matter, I can't get rid of it. Time. You will know the tragic extent of my failings. And then the menace below is actually kind of a quick one. Uh, the Vermintide is now available. Block quest of the menace below. Rumors be told there are unknown noises from an abandoned mine near our hamlet. Citizens say that there are rats of human size before late, whether the hearsay about vermin are true. So I will go do that really quick because it's another scripted one that can be done very, very quickly. We also got the Marauder, which is another one that's really good for getting money. So I'll probably do that. And we got an Abomination, which I'm kind of excited to use. So we will get that. Actually, I should check which one had the better quirks. This man is more dangerous than he seems. Uh, Heretic or... Eh, well, we'll go with the one we grabbed. Doesn't really matter too much. So Big B, and I think it's AOA for the Marauder. Do, 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 do. Yep. So we'll be using both of them once I do this and this. And so guilds, I don't know about skills here. So, okay, gonna want plunder for sure. I'm gonna maybe grab rampage. That's gonna set me back a little bit, but so let's grab pillage. Let's grab rampage, concuss and plunder. I'm not fighting anything big right now. Otherwise I would grab in rage. Bigsby is fine as he is. Everyone from there is fine with stress. So you probably rank one, yeah? No, you need to be rank two. Okay. This throws you in rank one though. This is one time use thing. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. So he is going in rank three or rank one, I'm gonna want a healer with AOE healing, I'm assuming. And then for Gigglies, we're gonna bring Wilhelm. And he's gonna go in rank three. And Junia can heal for a little bit because I want the AOE heals. I did unlock the, it's not really a boss, but the next quest thing for the Sunward Isles, I just have to activate three uh, disturbed graves. I'm probably gonna avoid that though, because I don't really want to go do that. What I am going to do is this though, for the Arbiter. So the Bear stuns badge, hmm. plus resolve experience, plus seven dodge while guarding, minus damage protection detail, adds minus four stress. The Arbiter is not what I'm thinking it is. <laughs> Lucky he bailed me out. Where's the Arbiter? Yeah, for some reason I was thinking the Arbiter was the Anointed, I think. So I don't remember which one the Arbiter is off the top of my head, but you got a thing for him, so he levels up faster. I'd have to actually look at... <laughs> There's so many mods in here, I'm confusing them. But we'll, we'll get this for him. I know this is a scripted map. I know it pretty well. So let's go. To the Vermintide. Walking into the pit, you feel someone watching you from the shadows. Unmapped. Unexplored. 
And the reason I'm bringing Bigsby rather than like another modded character is one, he has some modded. The whole game. He works into the kind of cool skin. Fall easily. Blood Silk Page is torn from a journal. Two of six. My fears are confirmed. With our torches doused by an errant spray of seawater, we were ambushed. Strange fish like hominoids ambushed us in sudden darkness. Pitch of the torch cut quickly, and I glimpsed a scaly appendage swinging crude weapons glistening and barbed. They didn't last long with our torch rekindled, but alas, one bit me in the neck before I gutted it. The wound stings and tangles strangely. Our physic told me to keep it clean and covered. I think it's physic. Alright, let's go. Slave Rat Halberdier, Soldier, and Soldier. I haven't been playing with my headphones on, but let's play the game of. Tell if you can hear what they're saying. In Radiance, may we find victory. Oh, yeah, he can use uh, manacles in rank 1 now. Forgot about that. I think they changed the stun and damage mod of it, but it's handy that he can do something else other than transform in rank one. All right, uh, the rage also doesn't hit rank one and two. It hits rank one, two, or three, four, or five now because the rework it also does a pull and doesn't. Uh, give himself a buff that it does more damage. Also debuffs the enemies now, too. So that's worth a note. You have terrible hunger. You go away. So they'll eat their allies to uh, heal themselves. Let's do immolation. Uh... So, to the point, marks and bleeds. I don't have anyone that benefits from mark, I believe. Uh, clear horror, heal, debuff self, minus accuracy. Damage to vegetation, armor piercing, they don't have armor. And minus protection, they don't have protection. So, let's do immolation, change this form, just to see what that's like. Does fire damage. Can't crit, it's a bonus action. Oh! That's creepy. Nevermore, shuffle single, minus 10% damage, morbid aspect bleeds and has a chance to stun, very little damage, and dogs wars and AoE. Alright, I'm I'm okay with this. None of them do much damage. But all of them have fun little effects on them. So let's stun this guy. If I were to hit. And uh I'm getting money. <laughs> Continue the onslaught. Plus five crit. Destroy them all. Crush Skullhead. Back to the pit. This is not how I thought I'd be using Aoi, but uh, yeah, we we can get some money, I suppose. I think Nevermore does more damage. Scavenge a little gold or gems. I mean, if we get more gems, we get more gems, right? And now he's not eating the corpse. And rake again. Or rage, rather, not rake. I mean, a citrine and an onyx and 750 gold. I'm not going to complain. Not sure what I would have gotten out of that otherwise, but... And then we go down. Two halberdiers and a shield bearer. Oh, it's a clan rat, not a slave rat. Let's have you in this form. Oh, you can't get to him. Um, to the point. Poke thrust missed. Haha. -ha. So all these can be used in any rank except for Concuss. We're gonna Concuss the guy in the back. Or she just throws her Combato, okay.
and then we're gonna illuminate you because I forgot to switch out the move for me Spash. And then we're gonna medical you. Their formation is broken. Oh, I didn't realize his arm turns into the werewolf form thing. And then we're gonna stun you. I guess that didn't work. And then let's plunder. And illuminate. The match is Oh, they both get it. A blazing star is born. And X-Man. I'd say that was an axe. Oh, he eats it. I forgot about that. They eat at the end of the round, no matter what. Poke the rest. All will die, die, he says. <laughs> they entertain me sometimes. Alright, let's try out pillage. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Um I don't I don't think that's in a shape of a rat anymore. Two thousand eight hundred gold. That's a that's a big stack. I just realized that she's getting me more gold, isn't she? Like, not just in the fact of yeah, I'm I'm getting more gold, but that's like holy water or ladonum for this. Uh, I can hold more gold because of her, I think. Okay, the warp engineer need to go. Shoot this thing. Uh, do, 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 transform. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. And you're coming here. Or not. Uh, Axman can hit the back rows. To the point can hit him. Okay, to the point first. Let's get the gunner. Protect guard. That's fine. That can stun. Okay, we didn't. Don't run to hide away. <laughs> so the bad thing about these guys, the warp engineered, is they can give us uh I guess that's an addiction technically. It kinda works like a disease. It's not great. So they need to go away. Uh do 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 I want concuss? No, I want a rampage. Hit them all. Decent damage. It does hurt me, but that's fine. That's why we brought Junior. Uh, we're gonna rake. I oh, know we can't rake. That does bypass guard. Slam does. So I guess we'll just take out the rattling gunner. And rampage again. Another guy I want is down. And then we're going to. This does more damage, so we'll do that. Uh, X Men. And then you take out the clan rat striker. I believe he can only eat one corpse. Oh, he ate all of them. He is a hungry little bugger. How did you eat all of that before we got the chance to hit you, buddy? I am both amazed and afraid. Destroyed. No, I don't think he's not coming. He's too busy eating. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. So 2,800 max stack. Uh, so what I was kind of talking about for those who don't know about the Vermintide stuff, if you don't happen to know about that, basically it's this warp stone stuff. What is the substance that makes murderers of saints and lechers of chast mutants out of men? Basically what can happen is, I think the first time of using this is free, it ups like your blight chance, your stun chance, and a few other things. 
After that, every time you use it, you have a chance of getting this Blightstone Addiction, and it can get really bad every time you use it, and it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. However, the thing is, any of the Warp Engineered guys also have the chance of inflicting it upon you. So it's not just, you know, you using the Warp Stone stuff, it's also the Warp Engineered giving it to you. So that's why I don't like using it unless I have to, or it's like a really, really nice buff for like stunning a boss. All of these potions of speed, on the other hand, um... <laughs> As the light gains purchase, that'll be nice. Are lifted, and purpose is made clear. And like I said, press the location right there. This is a short one if you know where you're going. Otherwise, you could have gone like here, or down there, or down there. Who's best with traps here? 50, 50. Really, the storyteller has an 80% and he still missed? Carelessness will find no clemency okay. in this place. So Kleiner at Halberdier, that's the new one here. Uh, you know, the safe thing to say that they're saying there is faster. There's other um, things that they could be saying that if I said enough, might get my channel into kind of deep water. <laughs> All right, let's go for the clan rats because they have, with the X-Men at least, because they have that protection. I am just gonna start AOE healing because AOE, AOE, is that how you pronounce it? It's just gonna start doing rampage. Singular strike. And that's gonna hurt all of them. A lot. Folk thrust. Stay light. He had a lot to say. Uh, if I can take out another one, I can do plunder. Or pillage, is it? One of the two. And then get a bunch of gems. Oh, we'll see. What will I see? Oh, do I only get one corpse a time? Darn. I was hoping it'd act like the anti and black reliquary where I just get all the corpses. I suppose that would be a little too good for the vanilla game, eh? Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Right. Push and speed. Five speed for two battles. I'm gonna stack these up. I'm gonna throw the shovel there, so I don't plan on going past the quest location. And then torch up so they don't crit us. We're good. I thought there'd be warp engineered here. Alright, so transform. Rage into the soldier. He's down. Executed with impunity. I am gonna try the Nevermore again. So illumination. Let's go on the halberdier. The clan rat a halberdier. I should say there's two halberdiers there. Immolation. It takes more from fire attacks now. Do I have a fire attack while well, he's in this form? Does not. Seems so. Interesting. Uh, let's go Morbid Aspect and stun the Shield Bearer so he doesn't guard anyone else. That is a Morbid Aspect. And then we can Pillage. You know what, let's just Concuss. Masterfully executed. That way I can maybe get some more gems or something. So let's rage into the halberdier. Oh. It's one to two, this is four to seven. Actually, if that's one to two, it'll still take out the halberdier. You have the fire damage bonus. I'm gonna plunder one. He's not gonna heal for much, so I'm not too afraid of that. Mega 
Trust stab. Oh, he doesn't have the. Oh, he does have the black hunger. Never mind. <laughs> nom nom nom. He says, and rage away, my friend. Illumination. And bonk. A little more than bonk, but nonetheless. So Ruby Jade. So clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? This is Latin, ain't it? Leges justice, justice, something like that. For the Lawbringer, when I eventually get him. And this is the end of the quest. When I pick this up, I could continue, mind you. Uh, however, that being said, time. <laughs> I want to keep this a little shorter. I could keep going. I uh, probably will grab these two curios. A broken pendant, minus 20% burn rate, torch burn rate, and plus 20% stun chance versus rat. So this is kind of nice to get for Vermintide stuff, especially if you throw it on someone like the Vestal who can stun. Uh, the one thing about that is there are a few enemies in Vermintide that are more likely to come and like ambush you like with the traps and stuff if remember I remember right or just more likely to appear if you have a higher torch. So take that as you will. And yeah, I'm not gonna do the other fight. I got enough of an inventory as is. Not as good as the Sunward Isles one, but 16,000 gold. We got 12 crests, so that's all right. And then the Baristan's badge for the Arbiter. I can't remember who the Arbiter is. I feel really bad. Oh, I remember now. The Arbiter is uh, one of the, it's one of the bird people. Uh, the one with all the guns. So AoE got hard skinned. That's actually kind of good for her. Sickly on Wilhelm and thick blooded on Junia. All my life I could feel nice. the insistent gnawing in the back of my mind. It was a yearning, a thirst for discovery that could be neither numbed nor sated. So we got a blueprint from Cornerstones. So that's our first blueprint. I do have an idea of what I want to get. The first things I generally get no matter what are the Sanguine Vintners, which I do need buffs for just because brewing the blood for when I get the Crimson Curse. So I will need to save up a little bit for that now, now that the Abbey is a little bit built up and then the Granary is also a really nice get. But beyond that, I don't really need too much for bus, if I remember right. Did get the Rudiment. He's one of my favorites. Oh, that one didn't have a voice, but interesting text. This one's a little weird to spell. <laughs> forgot to? I then forgot to name him? Something like that. Anyway, that's what his canon name supposedly is. I'm not going to grab these other ones, like I said, just because I have one of them for now. I'm tempted to grab the Stagecoach Network upgrade, but I still kind of want to save up for that Hero Barracks upgrade. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, now we have mostly everything unlocked. But that being said, the Kraken is available. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. Uh, we get the chipped tooth from him, plus whatever we get from beating him, plus whatever we find in there, which is a potential. So that being said, he is a very nasty fight. He is weak to bleeding damage and some other stuff. So I will be uh, looking at what I can do to fight him. Um, I'm probably going to be doing something again, like said, chill Chuck and Papillon, but I'm not sure what I'm going to bring in other than that. Probably, um, the flagellant or something along those lines again. So that's kind of the plan. I'll kind of figure things out from there. That'll be it for this time. Really helps out the channel. If you like the video, if you like it, dislike the video, if you dislike it, lets me know what you think of the video and how I can go forward and that kind of stuff. Comments and subscribes also help. And otherwise, as always, wish you all well. I'll see you next time and please have a good one.